How's it going everyone? It's Ben Falcons Media Corner back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to yet another movie review aka first soul review video for today. For this newest uh, aka first soul review video for today is going to be my review on a new released film for 2022 which this one just came out just a couple days ago around the globe. I didn't see this movie on opening day because I want to see something else at the time. I want to see Beast uh, in that when this when this movie was re was released the exact same day as this in the UK. If you want to know what I thought of Beast, I, I much appreciate it. Check out my views on my channel. But anyway, but for this movie, I saw this. I just recently saw this movie today. I just got back from seeing this movie. I saw this on my job for free, and I'm here to give you guys my personal thoughts on this on this movie that I just seen today. So today's review is going to be my review on the 2022 supernatural horror film, and that movie is The Invitation. Now, this film is directed by Jessica M. Thompson, which this is her second film as director. And the story of the movie is that we follow this young woman named Evie, played by Natalie Emanuel, who has just recently lost her mother. And she uh, meets uh, her second cousin for the first time, which she never knew. And um, she uh, travels to England with him, to this uh, rich mansion that, that he lives in with the rest of his family. And she, for Evie herself, she also meets the other members of the family that she never knew before. And she starts to settle in. However, she starts to discover there are some dark secrets that involves with the family. So that's pretty much the simple plot synopsis I can say for The Invitation. Now, I did not know what to expect from this movie because I wasn't, like, excited for the film or anything. And I wasn't, like, anticipating for this movie, movie or anything. This wasn't, like, one of my most anticipated films of the entire year or anything like that. No, I just didn't even know what to expect from it. And... Even though, despite that, this was a, a new horror flick for this year, I was, I was still going to go and check this one out since you know I do like horror films, and for the director of this movie, Jessica M. Thompson, I've never seen her last film. Even though from what I've heard, her last film did get some critical acclaim, so one day I might check it out. And for the stars who were involved with this movie, um, I did not know much of the other cast members except for the main star of the film, Natalie Emanuel, who you may know her from the sequels of the uh, Fast and Furious franchise, which she was in. Furious 7 all the way to F9 and um, I was kind of in I was pretty surprised to see what she can do for this movie and I, I never saw the trailers before the film was coming out but I did watch the trailer before I actually did see this movie at my job and the trailers they didn't really impress me that they weren't like amazing or anything they didn't really impress me that much because they kind of gave away the whole film really from what people said in the comments, but I was still going to go and see the film. And so I went to see this today at my uh, job for free. Like I said, I still I managed to get myself a free ticket before it was going to be sold out, but I just still have my ticket right here. And I'd like to say to my, uh, view, my, my view cinema, thank you so much for getting me my free ticket for this, getting me this free ticket for this movie. And after walking out of this film, this movie unfortunately wasn't good. Was this a terrible film? Absolutely not. This w this movie wasn't terrible. I just found this film to be pretty much a bland, forgettable, and generic horror, fi horror film. Well, not everything in this movie was bad. There were some things I did appreciate in this film, like uh, the protagonist in the film I thought was acceptable enough. And for Natalie Emanuel's performance, I thought she gave a solid performance. And for the final act of the film, I thought it was pretty entertaining when we do see some bloody action in this film. And for the, the blood in this film, the blood in this film it almost it, this movie almost got away with it because it's not really a violent um horror film because it, this is a pg-13 um supernatural horror film and this movie just did get away with the did it get away with blood because there is one scene in the film which this is not really a spoiler by the way because this this has been shown in the trailers it's where one of the maids in the film gets her, her neck like her throat uh sliced and you can see the blood coming out of her throat and it's been poured into a glass for um, a drink and all that, which that's not really a spoiler, by the way. But for seeing that, this movie almost got away with it, really. And for seeing the last uh, the last act of the film, for when we do, when we do see some bloody um, kills in the film, I thought it was pretty entertaining. But for everything else that was surrounding this film is all my, all my issues with the film. Like the story was less engaging because uh, it was mostly around it was mostly it was mostly due to the other characters who were in this movie outside of the the, the outside of the protagonist of the film like because for the the family in this film that we were introduced in the film i kind of found their performances pretty bland and for what they were given for their development didn't i thought was was really uninteresting and the scares in the film they were just cliched um and they and I could see, and every time the scares were about to happen, I could see they were trying to push harder and harder to be really scary, even though they weren't even that scary. Like, like there are some moments where it has some creepy 
like uh, like there are some scenes where there's creepy imagery, uh, some dark visuals when we do see this uh, creepy figure character who has sharp nails and all that, which that wasn't that scary. And also when it, when it built up to tension and then boom, a jump scare happens, which that was which that really wasn't that scary, really. And for the twists and turns in the film, for like what well, like what happens towards the towards the final act of the film was really predictable, really, and just felt very familiar to any to any other horror film that has done that before in the past. That was another issue I did have with this film, alongside its its cliched scares and just um, a less engaging story, and has just really bland characters, really. But like I said, this movie wasn't all bad. And I can definitely say it wasn't the worst horror film of this year. And I wouldn't say it's another w worst horror film of all time. Um, I can just say this one was just a really bland, generic, and forgettable horror film. But if you are a fan of these kind of like supernatural horror films or, or anything really, because this one, well actually this one is kind of like a vampire horror film. If you're a fan of these kind of films or, or just specifically supernatural horror films, you may have a good time for this one. But for me personally, I didn't really have a, a blast. With, I didn't really have an enjoyable time with this one. Like I said, I didn't hate this movie. There were some things I did appreciate in this one, but for everything else that was surrounding this film, just made me lose interest with this movie. So that's pretty much all I have to say about The Invitation. And I'm going to give The Invitation a 2 out of 5. Just like I said before, this movie wasn't all bad because there were some things I did appreciate in this film, but for everything else that was surrounding this film, it's just, it just made me lose interest with this movie. And again, I wouldn't say this is the worst horror film I've seen and not one I can say is one of the worst horror films I've ever made. I can just say this one was just a really bland, generic and forgettable horror film. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching for my AK After a Soul review on The Invitation. And, le and let me know what you think of this new release if you've just recently seen this film, if you've already seen this film. Did you get a pretty solid time with this one or did you find this film to be pretty much bland generic or really forgettable just like i did so yeah thank you thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for more reviews and as always this has been falcons media corner signing off